What's going on folks and welcome to another reputized video. Max Payne came out in 2008 and stars Mark Wahlberg, Mila Kunis, and Bura Bridges. It's all about this cop whose family was murdered and a year goes by, I believe, and nobody knows who did it. He doesn't get to him in time, and it's, it's really sad. Now, I'm a big fan of the game, or was. I don't play games anymore, for that matter. But back in the day, when Max Payne came out on PlayStation 2, I was really addicted. There was a certain point where I could play that game blindfolded. Because I knew what every move, I knew what the bad guys was going to do, I knew what was around every corner. I knew what kind of weapons I liked to, to choose. I could just play it blindfolded pretty much. I loved that game. When I heard about them doing a movie ever since that game was released, which was back in 2001, yeah, I know, I'm old. But when that game was released in the paperwork, it said that they were working on a movie for, for Miramax, I think, at the time. But it took them seven years from the making of that game to actually make it a movie, and... Really Hollywood! Uh, the characters was boring. It was bland. The only character I bought was Mark Wahlberg's character as Max Payne. I know a lot of y'all might, might disagree with me, but the movie was just crap. It was dumb. There's this whole subplot where this drug called Valkyr makes people hallucinate and it makes them feel invincible and it makes you see demons and devils. That wasn't anywhere in the game. And the game was a straightforward revenge movie. They didn't throw, throw out all this drug crap. I mean, they did have a corporation there that was similar to what was shown in the movie. But it, it wasn't nothing like drug related. And there was like drug dealers and druggies, of course, in the game that you had to shoot. But that's about it. They were mainly target practice. This movie, they pretty much made it in the subplot. Why did you have to do that? Oh. Max Payne just goes on a rampage and teams up with Mila Kunis. I didn't find her character interesting. She had just got off that 70s show at that time. And she was becoming one of those actresses that was trying to break out. I liked her in some stuff. But this movie, she, her character was just... Very bland. I, I just didn't find her enjoyable. Most of the characters in this, I just... And they had the audacity to cast Ludacris, of all people, as Jim Bavora, the chief of police that hunts down Max Payne. Nothing against Ludacris. I think he's a brilliant actor. He's a brilliant rapper. But I just didn't feel like they casted the right person for that part. Now, if you ever played the Max Payne game, you'll understand what I'm talking about. That was a poor casting choice for this movie. I don't know what the hell they were thinking. Buer Bridges, I didn't really find him that intimidating, especially towards the end. The writing by Buer Thorne was not memorable. It could have been way better, guys. Like I said, the game was a classic to me. And it was one of those straight-up action-packed games that I actually enjoyed in my gaming days. It was it was awesome. They had great potential for this movie and they just they just had to screw it up. And John Moore's direction didn't help either. John Moore was the guy that did Flight of the Phoenix, A Good Day to Die Hard, and some others that had bombed. Go figure. So that didn't help either. Marco Beltrami and Buck Sanders' score was okay for what the movie was portraying. Again, this movie wasn't Good. It didn't live up to my expectations. And that's bad for a fan of the game who's been waiting for a movie like this for a while. It's really sad. I said the music, it was okay, but could have been better. The whole movie in general. Jonathan Sella's cinematography was okay. It was set in a snowy atmosphere. So everything looked white. Not too dark, not too light. So I guess I gotta give it that. Don Zimmerman's editing wasn't bad. It wasn't too much shaky cameras. There was every now and then, but it wasn't bad, bad. So that's another thing I gotta give it. Now, I gotta talk about the setting a little more, and I should have fixated on this earlier. Some of the names in the game, 
they switched around for the movie, and I guess that's a must. Like, you know, you gotta change something, but I really didn't feel it was necessary. Gogniti. That was one of the names I was in the game. He was a person in the game. They changed it into a place in the movie. Ragnarok. I think that was also a place in the game as well as the movie. There, there might be more on the characterizations and the places and all that. But I have played Max Payne in a long time. But most of, most of the stuff I do remember, or at least some of it. The sounds. Yeah, I gotta talk about the sounds. Those were actually pretty good. When somebody would shoot, you could hear the bullet shells drop to the ground. There was a lot of that in the game. And when, when Max Payne would shoot a bad guy, when I would shoot a bad guy as Max Payne in the game, oh, they rumped. you could hear them grunt. You could hear him do this. Urgh. Urgh. <laughs> that was a little bit in this movie, but uh, probably only once or twice. But you could hear a lot of that in the game, and I thought that was pretty cool. All right, the pros, I could only think of one, guys. And again, I know some of y'all might disagree with me, and that's fine. But Mark Wahlberg's casting as Max Payne. I thought they did a good job on that. I think Mark captured Max Payne the closest to how the first game was and the way he looked as well. I thought they did a good job on that. They actually was thinking on that part, but that's as far as their thought process went, unfortunately. The negatives are a big slew. This is what's going to bring the big fat critic out of me. The writing, the direction. The story. Some of the characters. Not all. Like I said, Max Payne was pretty good. The other characters. Mm. Oh man, what the hell were y'all thinking? This movie had so much potential. I could have pegged it to be like another Taken. This movie came out 10 years ago. I know I'm 10 years late for it. I apologize for that. I'm still trying to get caught up on a lot. But this movie came out 10 years ago. And Taken was out at that time and it could have been that or it could have been another punisher it could have been a lot more graphic the damn movie was pg-13 the game was rated m who in their right mind at the studio thought of rating this movie pg-13 what the hell i think this movie would have been a lot better if it was rated r but then it would have even made more sense if better people was writing it and they would have made it rated R. Then they would have stuck it more true to the game. But this movie was a mess. Like I said, it could have been better. It really had potential. I was really looking forward to it 10 years ago when it came out. But it was a letdown. I'm giving Max Payne an F. Now I know I showed you my collection. I have it. It's a guilty pleasure of mine. Don't lash me all at once, folks. <laughs> Thank you so much, guys, for watching. I really do appreciate this. If you like this video, ask you to like, subscribe, and get reputized. Stay tuned for more reviews coming soon. Peace to Rampage.